everybody, welcome Hi. back to My Mom's Recipe Box. Good to see you. So today is in the 90s, hot day, Fahrenheit, a very hot day out mm -hmm. today. Um, I would love to just have a big bowl of maybe homemade ice cream. Ooh, that or sounds good. Or sounds something. very uh, tempting. Mm -hmm. But our freezer is full, top to bottom. I know. Are you kidding me? I yeah. guess all those bargains. I think we have 25 Beyond Meat Burgers in the freezer. <laughs> Not kidding either. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so I think what we're going to have to do is um, we're going to have to cook out of the freezer. Absolutely. Start yeah. making dishes for my mom's. So Ruby agrees, clearly. She's yeah, going to go upset. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I think we have uh, some garlic bread. That um, sounds good. Not in the freezer. A day or so ago, not, not in the freezer. freezer. <laughs> not healthy. Okay. But mm. we have meatless meatballs. We do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why don't we whip up some meatless meatballs? Mm -hmm. And that'll give us some more room in the freezer. And maybe if we make a couple other things out of the freezer over the next few days, we'll have room for homemade popsicles. Sure. Probably if we make a meal, three meals a day from the freezer for the next month, we might. <laughs> maybe we should show everyone what the freezer looks like. We'll show you all. You think, you think we're kidding? We're not. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to My Mom's Recipe Box. As you know, we're having a little bit of a freezer crisis. If you don't believe me, come on over here. See, Lulu agrees. Check this out. Out. There is not room for anything in this freezer. Nothing. Okay. Not even the cat. <laughs> so we are going to start making some room in the freezer by making something with these plant-based meatless meatballs. Get out of there. Okay, these are Beyond Meat meatballs, and if you watch my channel, you know that we've already made two different recipes out of these things, and we really, really like them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the oven. They're frozen, not a problem. Uh, you can thaw them if you want, but you don't really have to. I'm gonna put them in the oven and bake them for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then we're gonna make a little sauce and we're gonna eat them in a bread bowl. Okay, doesn't that sound good? So I'm gonna get these in the oven. I have my cookie sheet right here with my parchment paper on it. If you watch my channel, you know how much I love parchment paper, and you also know that I often forget to preheat the oven, so I'm going to do that right now. 350. <laughs> okay, I have a witness. <laughs> so all we're going to do is open up these meatballs and get them on the parchment paper. They already have a little bit of seasoning on them, so I don't usually season them at this point. If you want to, you can, but I would say if you're gonna season them, a thumb first, okay? So that your seasoning can, can do a better job sticking to the meatball. Because right now it's frozen. If I put seasoning on here, it's not really gonna get in the way I want it to. So I am going to wait until the sauce, until the sauce for when I wanna do the seasoning, okay? Let's get these, oh, almost lost one. Let's get these on the baking sheet. And like I said, 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, okay? So come on back and we're gonna put this really easy supper together. Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, my meatballs are out of the oven. Uh, they were in for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees and they're golden brown and delicious looking. Let me give you a quick peek. I don't know if you can see that lovely little meatball there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a really simple sauce together for these meatballs. And what I'm gonna start with is a 28 inch can of my favorite crushed tomatoes. You can use whatever kind of crushed tomatoes you want, or they don't even have to be crushed. You can use, you know, regular tomatoes or I mean, you can use chunky tomatoes, you can use strained tomatoes, you can use whatever kind of tomatoes you like, okay? So we're gonna put those into a saucepan, like so. 
And then to those, I'm adding a jar of my favorite pasta sauce. So you use whatever pasta sauce you like. And that goes in, okay. Now I'm gonna turn my stove on about medium high right now. I just wanna get this heated up, get the flavors coming together, okay? So that's about medium high. The next thing I'm gonna put in here is a blend of different spices. And what I have in here is I have dried chopped onion, I have uh, garlic powder, I have Italian seasoning, and I have um, pepper. I don't usually put salt in because I think the tomatoes are salty enough. If you wanna put in salt, by all means, go ahead. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it into our, into our saucepan, okay? Just like so. And then I'm gonna stir this up. Okay, just like right on the stove top, get all the spices mixed in here. Okay. Let me see if I can move you because you can't see the, the stove right now in the saucepan because my cameraman's upstairs taking a nap. <laughs> so I thought I could do this by myself, but actually I really need him. So come on over here. I'm going to bring you over here and I'm just going to tip you down so that you can see my saucepan with my pasta sauce in it. See that? Yeah. So I'm just going to stir this up and get it nice and warm. And then I am going to put my meatballs in there, okay? So I'm gonna take my meatballs that I showed you, and we're just gonna put all of these meatballs into my sauce, okay? So one at a time. I don't wanna splash. And since the meatballs are cooked already, <clears throat> there's not a set time that you have to keep your meatballs in the sauce, but I will tell you the longer you keep them in, the better they're gonna taste. Okay, so if you have time to let them simmer in here for a little while, like half hour, 45 minutes, uh, that's gonna be great. But you really don't have to. You can, um, you can take them out as soon as the sauce is warmed up, really. Because they're, you know, they're cooked. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're just giving these a stir. And I will show you. It's so exciting to see what they look like now, which is just a bowl of red sauce right there with some meatballs in it. Okay, so I'm gonna get a lid for my saucepan and I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna let these go probably at least half an hour, at least half an hour. So when we come back, I'm gonna show you the next step in this super, super easy supper on my mom's recipe box. And I might just go and wake up the cameraman because obviously I can't do this by myself. Not as good as, as I can do it when he's Welcome back everybody. Okay, so the meatballs have been in the sauce for over an hour, okay? So I'm anticipating they're gonna taste fabulous. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our bread bowl meatballs. So this is a loaf of Tuscan garlic bread that I bought at the market. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take my knife, and you want to come over here, and I'm just going to try to hollow out a hole in this bread. Now, I don't want to go all the way down to the bottom because I don't want the sauce to leak out. But I do want to save, you know, I want to create a big enough hole that I can get my uh, meatballs in, okay? So we cut all the way around and then we just kind of pop this lid off. And then we're just going to, you know, continue to make a slightly bigger hole. Cause I have 12 meatballs, so I'm gonna need, you know, some space. Now don't worry, we're not gonna throw the bread out. No. I'm gonna throw the bread out, but I am gonna pull out some of the middle. Okay, and like I said, I'm keeping the bottom part. Okay, I'm keeping the bottom part. Okay, and I'm just gonna pull out a little more of the bread. 
Okay. <laughs> the, bread is, <laughs> the bread is dangerously close to the cameraman. <laughs> okay, so as you can see there, I've, ho I've hollowed out a hole. Okay, I'm just going to lay this bread down on my cookie sheet on a fresh piece of parchment. And then I'm going to come over here to where my meatballs are. Okay. And I'm going to take my tongs and I'm going to get my meatballs out. Okay, and I'm just going to put them inside the bread. Just like so. Okay, there we go. And it's the sound of my oven preheating. So you want to preheat your oven to about 400 degrees for this. And it won't take long because, you know, everything is cooked. Okay, so there we go. And make sure I have all my meatballs. Okay, there's still one in there. Let's see. I think that's all of them. Okay. The next thing I'm going to want to do is I want to take some of this sauce and I want to ladle it over the meatballs. Okay, just like so. Okay. I want to have a good amount of sauce. Keep the bread nice and moist. There we go. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm sorry, grated Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to sprinkle that on top of my sauce. And if it gets on the bread, that's okay. All right, just a little bit like that. You can keep your Parmesan in the freezer and it'll last a really long time. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get some mozzarella cheese and then I'm going to take my mozzarella cheese and I'm going to sprinkle it generously over the top of the red bull. Okay. Ruby off. And if it falls down on the parchment paper, that's great because when it melts on the parchment paper, it is so delicious. Okay. There we go. There we go. Very generous. Okay. Very generous. There we go. Okay, now what we're gonna do, everybody, is we're gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees, and we're just gonna keep an eye on it, okay? Once the mozzarella cheese melts and starts turning golden brown, it'll be done. That's all you need to be doing is getting the cheese to melt. So we're gonna keep an eye on it, and in a couple of minutes, we're going to pull it out and taste test it, okay? So come on back. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. So the bread bowl is out of the... Is out of the oven. <laughs> and it's time for the taste test. Mm. So here it is. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nice and melty. Mm, very melty. We have our good friend Laurel here with us today to help us taste Hi, test. Hi, everyone. Oh, with the cool shirt. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, this is going to be a This might be a little messy, but little all good food messy. is messy. So that's okay. So let's see here. Nice crunch. Yes, it definitely has a good crunch. Mm -hmm. Ruby's under the table hoping that pieces fall. She knows what's going on. Mm -hmm. Let's just serve Laurel first. Laurel, do you want the Laurel, middle, do you want middle end? middle ends? I'm fine. I like the ends because I like the crunchy bread. Okay. Right. Kind of like pizza. Here. Let's get you this piece, babe. Thank you. Yeah, here we go. I think Oops. your meatball might have fallen off. But it's in there. I see. Oh, yeah, give her another one. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. And I think I would like a crunchy end as well. It's hot. Well, it's hot. It's going to be it's hot. hot. Definitely. Let's see. Get a crunchy end. Nice crunch. The bread, the cheese, all kinds of crunch. I don't know how crunchy the cheese is. Well, it melted, so it's got a crust. That's true. It smells Ruby's on the, Ruby's really trying to work her way to get some. Okay. 
Okay. I hope so. I'm not sure to be honest. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Put one in there. Very good. Oh. All right. There you go, people. Mm. All right. Hi, friends. Welcome back to my mom's <laughs> recipe box, where we are going to taste test this meatless meatball in a bread bowl. Wow. With tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese. It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, gonna, be careful. It's going to be a little hot. It's going to be hot. The temperature is definitely it's uh, going to be hot. Oh, and baby, you want to tell everybody what kind of root beer you're drinking today? I'm not even sure. So Susan and Laura went to the Amish market near us in our area, mm -hmm. and this is called Reading Draft Root Beer, handcrafted since 1921. That predates us, but also it's 100 years old. 100 years old. It's a premium reserve. It's a soda. very old bottle of root beer. Cheers. Cheers. It's very good, for, especially for a meatball type dish. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. The meatball. <laughs> so again, we have to ask Laurel what she thinks of the meatless meatball. I know it's hot. Don't make Laurel make yummy sounds if she doesn't want to. <laughs> we could edit them in. <laughs> mm. Exactly. Mm. Now people aren't sure if that's Laurel or the mm. sound effects. Oh my god, that's a good meatball. <laughs> I hope you can keep this is like, G uh, rating. <laughs> the G rating. The G rating went out the window. This is like when Harry met Sally. Instead of the exactly, eating, except they're eating you. meatballs instead, right? I'll have a cheese out. <laughs> and Ruby. <laughs> right off. Exactly. How those meatballs. Ruby's right off camera, <laughs> hoping Laurel drops one. Which she's right there. Ruby. Okay. So, okay, guys, so this is delicious. Absolutely. Cheesy, saucy. Mm -hmm. Um, the bread got nice and crisp in the oven. Mm -hmm. It's it's garlic bread, but I don't think it Not has sure. a, a lot of garlic flavor. No. I don't think I would have guessed it. Ruby girl. Yeah. Down. Mm -hmm. And you can always dress up the sauce any way you like, or if you have a favorite homemade sauce recipe, by all means use it. Mm -hmm. We went with uh, jarred sauce that we um, that we dressed up with some of our own spices. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoy this. Mm -hmm. Leave us comments, give us a like, give us a share, like and stuff. subscribe. Mm -hmm. And then you can be first to know every, every time Wednesday, we have a right? video on Wednesday. Absolutely. So thanks very much, and we'll see you next week Thank on my Mom's Recipe Box. Thank you for joining us. Stay Bye. safe. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Clive is... <laughs> I do want to say, I'm a meat eater. I eat meat all the time, not vegetarian like my dear friends here, and I would never know the difference. No, I would not either. Never. Really. Never either. It's, it's really, it's really so good. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up, people. On sale at Costco. <laughs> Costco, sponsor me. Sponsor us, Costco.